three seconds. Three seconds is all we get before we lose upwards of 40% of our traffic because our pages are loading too slow. And to top it all off, Google loves to bury slow sites. Now, the good news is you can fix the majority of your site problems relatively easy in the next 15 minutes and actually start swiping some of your competitors' traffic because the faster your site is, the happier Google is, and that means you're probably going to win better on rankings. Hey, I'm Jason, faith-based entrepreneur, timestamps and prompts below, along with a link to today's sponsor, Kinsta. Their managed WordPress hosting is blazing fast and can help your website get up to 200% faster. More on that in a little bit here. So let's go ahead and kick things off with number one, the lowest hanging fruit here, jumping into my screen, and that's gonna be optimizing your images. Now, before you roll your eyes, you're like, okay, I didn't watch YouTube to talk about image compression. Hear me out. When it comes to all the other things you could do, the fancy plugins, changing your theme, changing your hosting, the very first thing you can do all of those other things are going to help, by the way. <laughs> but the very first thing you can do that's arguably the least expensive and the least time consuming is going to be compressing your images. And so there are three simple steps. Number one, if you're using something like Canva to make your images, just export your images smaller and use JPEG instead of PNG. Just all about trying to make that file size as small as possible. Number two, you can use a free tool like this from ShortPixel, upload your current images, especially if you're using AI to generate your images, and then it can compress it for you. Now, a quick note, there are different types of compression. We're not gonna get all nerdy here, just use Lossy. Most of the internet traffic is on mobile anyway, so it isn't going to matter. You don't need a super awesome like 4K or 8K image that's gonna show up on a nice screen like the one next to me. Most of us are using a laptop or mobile device anyway. And if you find that your images are looking really bad when they're compressed, then that's probably more of a design issue that we should look at as opposed to a problem with the compression. Because just five to 10 images on like, let's say your homepage that are three to five megabytes can be the equivalent of trying to stream a 4K movie. So <laughs> we don't want that kind of bandwidth for someone just coming to your homepage, let alone a blog post, right? Especially if you have one of those really long ones with lots of great graphics. So let's compress it as much as possible. Now, the third step, which is paid, but it's a one-time fee, is using a tool like the paid version of Short Pixel, and they have this plugin, don't shoot me for saying a plugin, uh, where you can automatically optimize your images. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description along with Kinsta if you're interested. But when it comes down to their pricing, do not pay for a subscription for anyone to optimize your images. You do not need a subscription for optimizing your images. You might wanna purchase a one-time pack like you see here, 30K images for 20 bucks. So all of the images that are already on your website, we can optimize and compress those. You pay one time and then moving forward, just compress them before you upload them. Use the free compressing tool or export them proper, properly from whatever tool that you're using. Um, because a lot of these plugins, number one, they're gonna slow down your site. We're trying to speed things up. We don't need more plugins. This is the only plugin in the entire video I will say to use. Uh, and then number two, it's actually not something you'll need when we talk about your hosting provider and using CDNs or caching and all that other fun stuff. So hopefully that's helpful in terms of the lowest hanging fruit. Now this next one is going to be the biggest factor in how fast your site loads. And of course, it's going to be your hosting. So let's go through a really silly example. Imagine you're taking a trip from New York to California. You have two options. You have the nice budget solution. You cram into a Greyhound bus with everybody else. I'm pretty sure Greyhound's still around. And then you take a couple days across the United States. Or you jump on a first class uh, plane ticket and you're there in a day, you're much more relaxed, but you're still sharing a plane with other people. Obviously it's not a, like a private jet, but it does get you there a whole lot faster. So when it comes to WordPress hosting, that's pretty much what it is. You can have the Greyhound bus where you're paying less than hundred bucks a year, or you could have a first class ticket where you're going to get there in less than a day. And as we talked about earlier with data, if your site's taking more than three seconds to load, you're losing a lot of traffic. So it makes sense to at least hop on a plane, even if you're in economy. All right, that, that kind of fell apart pretty quickly. So let's go ahead, jump into the screen. Distraction, prompt, AI, let's talk about that. So in the description, we have a WordPress hosting research prompt for you. And you'll see here, all you need to do is copy, paste it into Grok, Gemini, Claude, GPT, whatever else you're using, and 
put in the URL of Kinsta, put in the URL of whatever your current provider is, whatever other ones you're looking at, and then have it evaluate them based upon these uh, simple points. And so the goal here is to just figure out what's the best solution to uh, fast WordPress hosting, but then what is also going to be some of the features that you need to look for in a host to actually make sure that your hosting is going to be fast because everybody says we have blazing fast hosting. We do this, we do that. And most of it's marketing jargon. You don't really know until you actually ask an AI to dig into, okay, they say they're fast, but then you ask AI to evaluate the type of servers that they're using. And it turns out their servers are 10 years old and it's like six gigs of Ram. And then another server is like 25 big gigs of Ram. So instead of getting into all that jargon that we really don't care about, we can have AI evaluate it. But for purposes here, I just want to point out uh, three key things to look for. So number one, you want to look for either speed tests or you want them to tell you, the hosting provider, what ser what their server technology is. Um, because obviously we want to make sure that they're using current technology and not something that, you know, they, they bought secondhand from IBM 10 years ago, right? <laughs> That's not exactly fun. Then the other thing you want to look for is things like caching. And so... This essentially helps your site load faster. This is different than a CDN. We will get to CDNs later because that's not really standard with most hosting providers. But I think most importantly out of this, you also want to make sure that they talk about their security. And then they also talk about what they can do for you if your site gets hacked. I'll tell you more about that in a moment. But essentially we wanna make sure that whatever hosting provider you're looking at uh, doesn't just have a bunch of cool marketing jargon on their site, we can actually figure out what their benchmarks are and what their technology is that they're using. No, we don't have to become server experts. We can just have AI evaluate it for us and tell us, hey, was this made in the last decade? And you'd be surprised, some some providers, they haven't changed stuff since like 2017. So needless to say, uh, that's actually where today's sponsor, Kinsta, comes into play. There's budget hosting, and then there's what Kinsta offers. One feels like riding a Greyhound bus with no AC and five other websites crammed into your seat, and the other feels like a first-class flight with Wi-Fi, legroom, and of course, free champagne, and your site definitely deserves complimentary champagne. Insta offers managed hosting for WordPress, which means they handle all of the technical stuff so you don't have to. Speed, security, backups, all handled. And when something breaks, or worse, your site gets hacked, you're not yelling into the chat void. You get a real human who actually understands WordPress. In fact, my site got hacked in 2021. My old host not only didn't help, they just shut down my entire site because I was breaking their terms of service. Super, super helpful. Probably could have used Kinsta's enterprise level firewall and DDoS protection. Kinsta runs on Google's premium tier network and offers 35 plus global data centers and 300 plus CDN locations through Cloudflare. So even if your theme is bloated or your plugins are going rogue, your site still loads fast. Over 120,000 businesses have already made the switch. And if you're tired of being your own IT person, you should definitely check them out. Hit the link in the description, pin comment, or scan the QR code on screen now. You'll get your first month free, and they'll even handle all of the migration for you. That means they'll move your site from your current provider over to Kinsta's Blazing Fast servers completely free. No reason not to give it a try for 30 days and enjoy up to 200% faster load times across your site. Now, when it comes to fixing your hosting solution and using uh, Kinsta, the next step is going to be plugins. Now, at the very first step, I talked about installing a plugin, only one. That's the only plugin we're going to install. Do not install any more plugins to speed up your site. That's like saying, we want to go faster, so we're going to load up the car with more stuff. No, you, you want to start throwing stuff overboard that you don't need. And so all you need to do, don't do cPanel, don't, don't touch cPanel, Inside of your WordPress hosting, just go into your main WordPress dashboard inside of WordPress, click over to your plugins and themes, and just look at the ones that you're not using. Number one, just deactivate the ones that you're not using, and the ones that you're completely done with, go ahead and delete. Uh, Kinsta says it's upwards of 50 to 60% of security attacks actually come from outdated plugins. And so not only are you going to speed up your site, but you're also going to make sure that you're not leaving the back door open for someone to come in and take your site. I've had that happen over a decade of SEO, just gone. It was painful. There, 
I still haven't recovered from that. Like the whole site was just completely destroyed. So definitely make sure you turn off those plugins you're not using. If you have any plugins that you are still using, you're definitely going to want to make sure that they are up to date. Um, and you can always ask AI to evaluate the plugins that you have to see if one of them might be slowing down or the developers haven't updated it in a year and you probably need to find a new solution. I'll leave a link to Thrive Themes in the description as well. They're the plugin and theme that I recommend using. They're blazing fast, a great complement to Kinsta's hosting to make sure your site is always up to date and actually secure because Thrive actually does update their stuff unlike a lot of plugins. But that aside, just make sure you remove the stuff that you don't need. It's kind of like a little spring cleaning, except you just have to do a couple of mouse clicks. Now, number four is a little more complicated, and that's going to be a CDN or a content delivery network. Now, this is one of the areas where it's so easy to get fleeced. It is so easy to purchase something that you don't need or purchase something that you do need, but is a really bad version of what you need. So here's the deal. A content delivery network is essentially creating a copy or a somewhat of a copy of your site and then putting it on a different server. So if I use uh, Kinsta's graph here as an example, you can see in green they have their data centers and then in, in orange they have their CDNs. And this, this is pretty much how CDNs work, right? So the green is your actual server. Where is your main website hosted, right? So uh, let's say I started my business when I was in Texas. So let's say I choose uh, a server in Texas, right? So, because I think most of my clients are in the US. So cool, we have the server there. But let's say then I, maybe I find, make some friends over here in the Philippines where I'm traveling right now. Well, instead of people going to jasonwayling.com and waiting for the site to load all the way over in Texas where it was originally hosted, the CDN makes a copy of my site or a copy of some of the stuff on my site, that's why it gets confusing, and then puts it over in the Philippines. And so instead of connecting to Texas, they're connecting to Manila, Cebu, or something like that. And so all that's to say, that's all a CDN does, is essentially makes a copy of your full site or makes a copy of pieces of your site that help the pages load faster. And so when it comes to hosting providers, most providers are not going to include a CDN. One of the reasons Kinsta is so awesome is they include a CDN and they do some extra work to make sure that you have a full copy of your site. But that's part of what makes CDNs so hard to, to kind of figure out in their pricing because not every CDN you're looking at is going to make a full copy, let alone copy your site in real time. And so if you don't want to use Kinsta, I'd recommend checking out Cloudflare. They have a free CDN um, that you can connect to your site. Yes, it's a technical setup or whatever, but that's going to be your second best solution if your hosting provider doesn't already do it for you. I don't recommend paying for a CDN from anyone, even Cloudflare, because uh, unless you're you know, doing hundreds of thousands of uh, visits per month, you probably don't need what is outside of what Kinsta can give you or Cloudflare. Um, and again, most of the other solutions, I don't mean to rag on them. It's just you're probably paying for something you don't need. It's like buying a Rolls Royce to drive down the street to the grocery store. Sure, you're going to get there a lot faster. Maybe you have a driver with you. I don't know what is with me on the transportation <laughs> metaphors today. That really fell apart fast. And needless to say, you you just get way more than you actually need when you start paying for CDNs uh, outside of something like Kinsta or Cloudflare. So that does it for the main things that you can speed up your site. When it comes to some of the other things, I'm kind of going to condense uh, three big hidden factors for number five. So these are going to be silent bottlenecks, if you will. So number one, third-party tracking strips, scripts. So if you're using some custom analytics software, those can actually slow down your site. I'll show you how you can figure that out without any technical background. Number two, redirect chains. If your site has been around longer than five years, or you've been bouncing around hosting providers or changing different uh, themes a lot, you might have something called uh, redirects happening. So someone will click on a link, but then it goes to this link and that link and that link, and then it goes to the page that's actually live right now. So that can slow down your site. Again, I'll show you with a simple prompt how to figure this out. And then number three, of course, is just gonna be, sometimes your theme sucks. Uh, I'm sorry, there are a lot of terrible themes out there. There are a lot of terrible plugins out there. Um, and so sometimes at the end of the day, it's just, no matter how great your hosting is, no matter how much you pay for CDNs, it's just bad tech on your site. 
Again, I'll leave a link to uh, Kinsta to help with that and, and Thrive Themes to help with that. But in, before you go like Hail Mary changing all of your plugins and themes, I'll also leave a uh, full prompt in the description called the Site Speed Evaluation. So all you need to do is head over to pagespeed.web.dev. Uh, this is a tool from Google. So you drop in your website and it's gonna run the analysis and then it's going to give me a nice little report here. And so all you need to do is take this report and you can actually copy the link to the report. So you can copy the link to the report, then head over to whatever AI you want to use and drop in that link along with this text and the AI will evaluate the score and then start to tell you what might need to be fixed on the site. And we actually have things in here to look at hosting, look at hosting things, look at your plugins, look at, look at uh, your themes, and then help you understand in layman's terms, not that uh, we're dumb for not understanding a bunch of uh, coding jargon. It's just sometimes you get these results and you go, I have no idea what on earth you're talking about. Apparently I have to fix some stuff. See, I'm at 3.1 seconds. So <laughs> I've got some things to fix. I'm, I'm losing uh, quite a little, uh, quite a few here, but you can see that it will give you this report. 90% of it's not going to really make any sense at all. But of course you can always copy the link and then use the uh, prompt in the description. So you just go ahead and do something like this. Then I would copy all of this over to AI and then GBT, Claude, Gemini, Grok. I should just say AI. I don't know why I feel like I have to list them all out every time, but then AI can actually start evaluating for you. And of course, the reason that I like using AI so much is AI is probably not, doesn't have some like secret interest to try and get you to buy a plugin or a specific, you know, theme or hosting provider. Obviously I have my recommendations, but AI might suggest something different in your particular case. I can only share what after over a decade of building websites, some of the solutions that I think work the best. But when it comes to speeding up your site, just know that you don't need to buy expensive plugins. You don't need to completely redo your entire site. Start simple with fixing your images and then you can keep running your speed, the speed test. And then maybe it's changing your hosting solution. I would recommend doing that before you start like redoing your entire site. I know it's a pain. Kinsta can move everything over for you. And especially when it comes to getting your site hacked, it's just the one of the most painful things I went through as an entrepreneur. And I wish I was on a solution that would have actually helped me and possibly saved over a decade of SEO. But that's neither here nor there. Moving forward now. So hopefully this was helpful in terms of practical things you could do to speed up your site, not just installing a bunch of random plugins that aren't going to help. Make sure you check out that link in the pinned comment description and QR code on screen now to check out Kinsta free for 30 days. They will migrate everything over for you for free. And of course, if you have any questions, they have actual humans who are replying to your questions, not a bunch of AI chatbots trained on uh, knowledge bases that should have been updated years ago. So thank you so much for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe for more deep dives just like this one. Remember all the prompts are in the description along with that link to Kinsta. And until the next, keep building the business you love.